welcome back in this demo video we'll discuss about motor icon animation by using integer variable we'll do the motor icon animation by using bit tag of word in other video so for animation i have created a motor icon animation fc in that fc i have moved some integer value to integer tag so for that I have create a motor icon animation DB in that DB I have declared the motor status variable here you can see motor status variable and variable data type is integer and I have also declared three boolean tag motor fault motor ready and motor run to create the fault ready and run from the HMI because I will not do the all the logic in the PLC using the peripheral input like I 0.0 I 0.1 like this because our motto is to create the animation not creating the fault here okay okay so go to the motor icon animation FC here we have moved some integer value in the motor status variable so when motor fault boolean tag is high by using command from the HMI that move block will transfer the integer value to that motor status and when the motor fault motor fault boolean tag will be zero that time there will be no other value in the motor status it will keep holding the one very value one in that motor status when motor fault is high that time one will transfer to motor status variable one by using move and when motor ready is high that time the value 2 will transfer to that motor status variable okay and that time this two, one will no more storage on that motor status variable it will be 2 okay same way for motor run when motor run button will press that time 3 will transfer to that motor status variable okay so and now I will call that motor icon animation FC 15 in the main OB I have already call by just drag and drop like this okay I will not drag now because I have already drag it okay now go to HMI that I have already created a motor icon skin okay open it here I have give a template background template that I have already create earlier that template too okay in that template there are some other button home button also the alarm window here in top time okay so now go to toolbox from here in the graphics i have take a motor icon graphics icon and that will be not a um changeable uh, change our color changeable graphics it is a grayscale graphics so we cannot change the color from that icon we have to change the fill color okay so see here you can see there is a fill color i have already made it so check here uh, fill pattern sorry in appearance fill pattern by default it is transparent so if you go to the skin here you can see there is no 
background fill pattern color okay so go again if i give a solid it will show a color like okay here i have already give a tag that i have browsed from the program block that motor icon animation db okay select the motor status okay here you can see the tag will be motor status and type data type is range so here you can give the range so for range or constant one value it will be red and flash and for value 2 it will be white as a ready and for 3 it will be green as a motor run okay and the color will be changed as a background solid fill color okay here we have take fault ready run button from the toolbox element just drag and drop like this okay so in the fault button we have give for command like this when the button is pressed it will set set bit just write the set bit okay so here i have browse the okay left side go to program block motor icon animation db so here for fault browse like this and it, for release it will be reset for press it will be set and for release it will be reset means it will be zero okay just like this okay okay go to hold okay same way okay press and release for press it will be set as one and for release it will be set as a zero okay same way the ready and run you have to program okay i will delete this button now i will okay i will download the program okay in the virtual plc okay simulator i have already open okay now go to the hmi okay compile if there is no error we'll go for simulation okay see there is no error so click the start simulator okay now click on the motor icon that i have link with that button to the motor icon animation skin okay see motor icon animation background is now white means it is ready okay go to motor icon animation let's see what is the value okay i'm gonna go to sorry hide it okay now monitor see the motor status integer value is two and we know that we have passed two for the motor ready so see in the icon it is white means it is ready now click on the fall button see the value in the motor status tag is one and the motor icon blinking as a red okay now click on the ready and see the icon is white and the value in the motor status is 2 and motor ready boolean tag is still 1 because I have hold it ok and when I have released the value is 2 in the motor status tag if I click on the run see the value in the motor status tag is 3 ok and the motor icon background is green okay now for the auto manual animation you can do by using same integer variable but you can also do by separate 
variable okay as you ask for separate variable so I will do by using separate variable for motor local and auto animation okay so for that I will create another variable name as motor mode motor status mode okay and integer will be data type okay and also I will take a variable for give a command as local or manual or automatic manual automatic okay and that variable name is motor mode okay now go to the FC function to pass the value in that integer tag okay here I will write as a command that motor auto manual mode okay so take a no contact or nc contact whatever you want you can take first by this way you have to pass the value okay so when there will be no command from the from the HMI means the value will be zero of that boolean tag that time it will pass the value one okay pass value one to that motor status mode integer value okay and that will take it as a automatic okay okay now when the button we press that means the motor mode variable boolean variable is one that time it will pass the value to to on the same variable and when we will get the value on that motor status mode as a two will call it as a manual mode okay so we'll take a text okay from the toolbox okay that a for automatic and m for manual so copy first okay give uh, appearance color like okay first remove I have removed the auto sizing okay so 40 pixel uh, it will be the bigger okay appearance color for automatic you can give the color as a green okay 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 give the center make it center that appearance text format okay center okay now I will copy okay same way okay before I copy I have given the animation that is animation tag from browsing the status tag from the motor icon animation db motor status db when the value is one okay it will be visible okay i will not make it as a color i will make it as a visible so when value is one it will be visible as a a okay and when the value is two it will be visible as a m okay okay so go to properties again since the text as a m okay and the color 
uh, we will change it to say yellow okay and we will merge on the same place okay now move it to motor body okay now i will make it on front it's automatically on the front as the last icon it will be on the top okay okay now click on the okay copy and paste the run button okay we don't need a release okay we'll use only press okay first it will be i will take take it as a invert bit so one when you click it will be one when you click again it will be zero when you click again it will be one means it always make it in but of the earlier state okay okay now see go to motor icon okay click on the okay sorry still don't change the text on that button change it to an auto manual a oblique m okay click on the m sorry it is not changing okay we have to download the plc program because after make change for the auto manual we did not download reinitialize it asking because we have changed the motor icon db okay by default it is a as a automatic if i click it okay it is m okay okay now fold motor fold during the manual mode motor ready okay motor run during the manual mode okay motor okay okay that is for animation this is not the proper programming in the plc but i have just show how to animate your icon okay thank you